I overthink everything. Girls, whether I find the right person, success, grades, friends, school, everything. And I'm not talking about the overthinking when you hop in bed and it keeps you up for maybe 30, 60 minutes. I'm talking about 24 seven, every single second of the day when you wake up and when you go to bed. All you're doing is overthinking about absolutely everything. What you could have done better in the past, what you could be doing better right now, and what the future holds. I lose sleep. Most nights I get around five to six hours, which isn't very good for my health. I overthink these videos, meaning I don't enjoy them as much as I should. Whether my advice is gonna be valuable, whether it's gonna hit a certain view count that I'm predicting it's gonna hit. I look for more escapes from this world, right through uh, YouTube, by watching YouTube videos, uh, watching TV shows, scrolling on social media, looking at what other people are doing rather than looking at what I can do better myself. And it's just a downward spiral that I've been experiencing for probably the last few months, but I'd, I'd say overall two or three years. In year eight, which was four years ago, so probably three or four years, I was chatting up this girl from my school in my, in my class. We were in like three or four classes together, right? So I was with her quite a bit. Yeah, we talk every single day and she supposedly liked me, but I was a very nervous, anxious, overthinking little 14 year old kid. So I didn't know if she was telling the truth or not. I thought she might've just been doing that to spare my feelings. We talk every single afternoon for probably a couple of hours. Yeah, we didn't have jobs. All it was was come home and play video games, go play basketball. That was really it, right? And talk to this girl, which was, my, which was part of my routine. And she talked to me like a player. She talked to me like she hated me, but she also talked to me like she loved me. So I didn't know, 14 year old Jack didn't know if this girl liked him or hated him. He'd overthink every single day because this girl was the center of his happiness. It's the only thing that really made him happy other than video games and you know, shit like that. So at school, if I wasn't sitting next to her or near her, I'd be looking across the other side of the class, just wondering if this girl actually liked me. I'd top up on YouTube, signs girls like you, and I'd be looking at her every single day of the week. Not like stalker type shit, but you know what year eight, 14 year olds do. Looking to see if she did any of these signs. Yeah, she mirrors your body language. She, you know, has that little, little, little stare, I don't know what you call it, but you know, she looks back and forth. These things were constantly in my mind, so I'd overthink about them every single day, even after school. Every single text message she sent, I would overthink about it. And when I started to focus on myself, which is probably around four or five months later, I, not intentionally, but I kind of cut this girl off because I needed time to focus on me. Those one to two hours of my day after school could be used much more productively, right? I didn't tell her I was focusing on myself. I just stopped texting her. And she kind of stopped texting me after I didn't reply to her for like two or three days. But at that point, I deleted Instagram, so I didn't know if she texted me or not. So we started to kind of fall apart, right? We, like, we still know each other, but we don't talk. We haven't talked to each other in like three years. Other than like mini chit chats at school, but she's left now anyway, it doesn't really matter. I would say that part of my life, I was the most happy, the most at peace, and the most I found and had respect for myself. Of course, I still have respect for myself because I'm disciplined and I know that. Right? I know I'm disciplined. I put the work in every single day. I, don't, I know what's best for me, but at this point in my life, I had nothing to worry about. Now, and I take this as a privilege, by the way, but sometimes it gets to me, yeah? This is, a, this is a benefit. I have to wake up every single morning and cater to you guys, yeah? But that is an honor. Trust me, that's an honor, but sometimes it gets to you. I want to be the best person I can possibly be on camera. And that takes a lot sometimes. Sometimes I show up to these videos, not my best self. But when I was 15 and I was just making videos for the fun of it, I had no stress. I had none. And I constantly try and I ask myself, how can I emulate that? How can I get to a point in my life where I don't overthink, where I have no stress? And the answer is always, brother, you signed up for this shit. You signed up for it. I signed up for success. I grinded my ass off every single day with YouTube three or four years ago, well, three years ago, uploading every single day and I'm still, you know, grinding it out every single day. I ask for this, I ask for the benefit, but there is no benefit without a negative. There is no positive without a negative. It doesn't exist. A tree's roots must reach hell before the leaves reach heaven. I am not going to experience success without the overthinking, without the constant stress. So I've just accepted it, but it still hits you even though you've accepted it. Even though you've accepted that you'll probably overthink the rest of your life, <laughs> yeah. It still gets to you, bro. 
And I don't like to really bring this up, which I'm going to go and going to jump, which I'm going to now. I don't like to bring this up anymore because you know it kind of hits me. I don't really like talking about it, but I think it's needed for this video. When my father passed away around six months ago, I had, especially in the first couple of months, I had a lot of regret about not spending enough time with him. I put, I didn't put the blame on me because I knew it wasn't my fault. But I did regret, you know, he'd call me sometimes after school and I, didn't, I wouldn't answer because I was focusing on YouTube, I was in the gym or doing something productive, right? I wouldn't call him back, so maybe I wouldn't speak to him for a week just because I was very productive. Or I was being very productive, right? And I told myself, Dad, I'll get back to you at the end of the week, but sometimes I, just, I would just forget because I was too focused. And I'm not saying that because I think I'm better than no one, it's just simply the truth. I, sometimes I would just forget because I didn't really see my dad much. Luckily, I grew, my mindset grew and I started talking to him more yeah, but when he passed, I still had a massive amounts of regret and I still do. Like I still at the back of my mind wished I talked to him more and I'm sure he had the same thoughts as well. But that event added fuel to the fire and ever since then it's been really bad. Like overthinking all the time. Because I fear something like that happening again. Every, like with a video, right? This could be the last video I post. I want, because you never know what can happen. YouTube can take it down. You can, YouTube can take my channel down. Something may happen. This, this may be my last video. I want this video to be the best video I ever make. I overthink about that all the time. Is this advice in this video good enough? And please, brother, I am not saying this for you to feel sorry for me. Not at all. I have a very blessed life and you do as well. All right, but I'm only doing this because I'm being completely honest with you, bro. I'm not perfect. But one thing that I've adopted the last few weeks that's really helped me and I'm starting to feel a whole lot better with myself. Your mind, is like an ocean. Your mind is like an ocean and you are the big fish. Yeah, you, the present self, you, you are the big fish who is looking out in the ocean, are looking for food, which is other fishes, like the small fish, right? And those fish, AKA food, are your thoughts. But not every single one of those fish out in the sea are real. Some of them are fishermen up there trying to kill you. Not every thought is real, bro. Even though it may look real. Some are just trying to reel you in to take you over. And I've applied this analogy the last few weeks. I, like, I, someone may have thought of it, but I just literally just thought of it myself. Like I genuinely did. I thought of it a few weeks ago by myself. And of course, as I said, someone's probably already taken this. I'm not gonna take credit for it, but I think it works very well. Whenever a thought pops up in my mind and I know it's not worth my time, I use that analogy. This is like a lure, bro. This is like bait, but I'm not gonna get controlled by it. I'm gonna to continue to go, to go look for thoughts that actually matter. I'll give you an example. That pass with thing with my dad. That's a lure, bro. I've learned my lesson. I want, I want you to do that right now. Because if you're here, you, you have related to me in some way. You have probably overthought before, you're overthinking right now, or you probably know you're gonna overthink in the future. Maybe you're even overthinking about overthinking, like I do. Try that. Look at your thoughts as a sea. Each fish is your thought. Thoughts are. But some out there are lures, bro. Some out there are bait. They ain't real. That's why it's so important to go up very close to them, observe them, but don't attach yourself to them. Because your mind tells you lies. It's not all real, bro. Your mind doesn't know what's right. You know at the back of your mind, you ain't always right. You're a dumb, you're a dumb motherfucker. We all, we're all dumb motherfuckers. So how do you expect your mind to be right as well? Because your mind is simply a reflection of you. Simply a reflection of the actions you put in place every single day, all right? It's very important to understand that this won't last forever. There'll come a day in our lives, you know, we're young and the hormones are popping off, you know what I mean? It's normal, it's natural. You know, school sets us up to have our life figured out at 18, 19 years old. It's completely natural, brother. I want you to realize that, yeah? You ain't alone. I experience the same thing. So I know some of you guys look up to me a lot and I, do not take that for granted and it's a truly an honor. But I am perfect, bro. And I hope something as simple as that, because bro, I'm still mastering this shit. I've solved 0.1% of the puzzle, specifically with overthinking everything. And that analogy has definitely helped me over the last few weeks, so I wanted to share it with you. If you're Gen Z, if you're young, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will catch you in the next video, my brother. Peace.